The land is rugged on the south end of the Rocky Mountain Range, a panoramic view of northeastern New Mexico under clear skies, which makes it easier to see an unusual sight. This is it. Two huge interlocking circles, markings on the desert soil that cannot be seen from the ground, but can be seen from the heavens. I think they're not designed to be seen by human beings, but by uh, alien beings. Michael Pattinson says he was a member of the Church of Scientology for 23 years. Now he's a disgruntled ex-member who says the circles are signposts for reincarnated Scientologists who come from outer space. Uh, they are markings to show the location of one of the vaults uh, which Scientology has prepared um, to safeguard the technology of L. Ron Hubbard. Hubbard, who died in 1986, was a science fiction writer who started the Church of Scientology. And indeed, next to the circles in a private runway is a building with a vault built into the mountain. Current Scientologists do say archives are held in the vaults, just as other religions safeguard the sacred texts. They say the vault is overseen by a Scientology corporation called the Church of Spiritual Technology. Church of Scientology officials denied CNN's request for a tour of the compound. They say the markings are simply a logo of the Church of Spiritual Technology and that this is a non-story. But from what we've experienced, church officials are extremely sensitive about this non-story. A pilot we hired to fly us over the compound backed out, saying he got a call from Scientologists asking him not to go with us. Other pilots said they would not fly us because they didn't want to make the Scientologists angry. But we did finally get a pilot. What do the circles look like to you from the air? They look like a, um, a branding symbol a rancher might uh, have put out there. The closest town to the desert etchings is Las Vegas, New Mexico. The county sheriff there is one of few non-Scientologists who have visited the compound. Chris Nahar did so just last month for the first time. Because every time that there, uh, an incident happens, that there's, uh, say for instance, Waco or the World Trade Center incidents, every time something like this happens, there seems to be some rumblings that it's a training ground for militia or terrorist training ground, that kind of thing. So uh, they've been inviting me out there so we can go out there and try to dispel those rumors. Have you dispelled those rumors? Well, we went out there. I didn't see anything of that sort. The sheriff says the Scientologist told him this is where L. Ron Hubbard's writings, saved on titanium plates, will be preserved for thousands of years. He says many people were there, lots of farm animals, and a large cache of food supplies. Did it strike you as a place for survivalists? Quite possibly, yes. I, I definitely want to go there <clears throat> if it hit the fan. If it hits the fan. <laughs> the sheriff says the notion of spacecraft returning here was not discussed with him. But former members say that's part of Scientology teachings. I know it sounds very, very bizarre, but this is where reality is stranger than fiction. So are the circles a landing pad for extraterrestrial vehicles? The church is not commenting to us. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Las Vegas, New Mexico.